Live from the local station, News for Jax starts now. Tonight, the News for Jax I team is getting results just days after a Mayport mother came to us about her daughter's mile and a half walk to school. A dangerous intersection is at Wonderwood Connector in A1A and is where another 12-year-old named Hunter Cope was hit and killed while walking to school two years ago. News for Jack's I-Team investigator Kelly Wally is there live. Kelly, Duval County Schools, they originally told this mother that the bus could not pick her daughter up. That's right, and her daughter would have had to go across these six lanes of traffic. Her daughter was also told that she lived too close to the school to have a bus stop pull here. But after our stories, Duval County Schools is adding two bus stops for this neighborhood back here. The drive from Lori Culver's apartment to Mayport Middle School is about four minutes. It's the walk she was told her daughter has to make through six lanes of traffic that has this mother worry. Another 12 year old Hunter Cope was struck and killed in this intersection walking to school in 2017. And I just can't imagine sitting at work every day just wondering if she made it to school OK. That thought just haunts me. We wanted to see what this walk was like ourselves, so here we go. I see the school. We have made it. You can go in that gate or that gate. Let's check our time. We got here. It just took us 23 minutes to get to the gate. It took us 23 minutes. The mother emailed DCPS asking for a bus stop to be added, but was originally told the school district doesn't place bus stops within 1.5 miles of the school. After our story, DCPS left a voicemail giving the mother two bus stop options for her daughter, one of them just across the street from their apartment. I can't be here to take her. Um, I can't speak for other parents, but I'm not able to pick her up and take her to school. I just, I just want a safe place for our children to cross. And the bus stops are now at Bayshore at A1A and Bayshore at Wonderwood. The mother that we spoke to says her heart is happy knowing the kids in these neighborhoods have a safe way to get to school. Reporting live in Mayport, Kelly Wiley, Channel 4, The Local Station.